Grey Friars Bobby. I'm fed up with sightseeing, moaned Tom. It's too hot and I'm thirsty. Well, you're in luck, said Becky. Here's a fountain, have a drink. It's a drinking fountain for people and dogs, said Tom, reading the inscription. A tribute to the affectionate fidelity of Grey Friars Bobby. In 1858, this faithful dog followed the remains of his master to Grey Friars Churchyard and lingered near the spot until his death in 1872. Let's go into the churchyard, said Tom. Do you think we would have seen Bobby the dog if we'd come in here a hundred years ago? Of course you would, said the gardener. He'd have been lying in the sun in this special place that was his home for the last years of his life. Back then, you would have found him asleep, dreaming of the days before he lived in the churchyard. Those were the days when... Bobby used to help his master, Old Jock, guard the cattle, which were brought into the city each evening for the market the following day. The story goes that, in the mornings, after work, Jock and Bobby would visit the cafe owned by Mrs Ramsay, who would always save special tidbits for Bobby, a bone, a bun, or even a piece of pie. On their rare days off, they'd walk for miles in the hills where old Jock had lived as a boy. But in the winter, they would stay in the city, still guarding the cattle, despite the freezing winds and bitter cold that eventually made old Jock so ill that he died. And on a grey morning, Bobby followed his master for the last time to the churchyard of Grey Friars. He got as close as he could to old Jock and that's where he stayed. But how cold and hungry he was that night, huddled against the great granite stones. He remembered the cafe. If he went there by himself, would there still be a bone, a bun or a piece of pie saved for him? Of course there was. And when Mrs Ramsay found out where Bobby was living, there was food for him every day. The people were so touched by the loyalty of the little dog that they looked out for him and looked after him. He was given his own engraved collar and water bowl and, best of all, official permission to live in the churchyard and that's where he stayed for 14 years. Until finally, he too was buried there, near his beloved old master, Old Jock. What a story, said Becky. Aye, agreed the gardener. Bobby never forgot his old friend. I don't think we'll ever forget Bobby, said Tom.